Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite bad guys, Thanos. And we're going to be doing that by working on a pretty Thanos size, huge build. This was a fun one. <laughs> All right, this was pretty neat. I have not got a chance to see the movie yet. We're waiting to do it as a family, and it's pretty difficult because everyone's got crazy schedules. I have never printed something like this, like um, a figure. It's always been, you know, weapons or helmets or doodads or whatnot, but uh, I've never printed something like this, so it was really fun to do. And I got this over at... Um, Mally, uh, Malix3ddesign.com. You've probably seen them uh, out there. They do these really cool statues. Very, very detailed. They print really well. I, I, didn't, have not, I didn't have one problem getting this thing printed. Um, Supports-wise, it worked out really well. I actually printed this all out also, except for the base, which is immense. Now, I printed this out at 125%, so I scaled it up. So... All of Thanos was printed on my Anycubic i3. I'm going to be doing a review on that soon. And then everything else was printed. This base was printed out on the um, JG Aurora and the CR10. Mostly the CR10 because that thing is huge and it's a workhorse. So <laughs> this was really fun. I had a blast doing this. And um, let's go over to the workbench. I'll show you how I printed it out, glued it up, and got them all ready. All right, here it is all glued up and primed and I put some Bondo in and I just dabbed it in with my fingers to make it look really rough. And when painted, it is very difficult to see any of the lines and once I start painting it up, it'll work even better. Now I used like this sort of speckled um, black paint, it had some texture to it because I wanted to give the whole thing some texture. All the links for all the paint I used will be down in the description and really happy in the detail with this thing. It is such a, I mean, it's huge. I've never printed anything this big. So I'm gonna just go old school with this, not any airbrushing or uh, spraying at this point. We're just gonna use some bunch of brushes and my Vanna White Flourish. And uh, I've got a piece of glass down, so don't panic. I'm not, you're probably not panicking, but it's not on my cutting board. It is on a piece of glass. And I'm just going through and getting really all the skulls. I wanted to do those first. And then it's time to go in and sort of make these cracks look deeper, of course, by adding a black that gives you this sort of uh, shadow look that will build up because, of course, the cracks would be deeper. And now it's really just a question of wiping this paint on uh, and then going over it with a brush with different variations of grays to sort of give it that modeled look. And of course we'll put a highlight over the, the rims of the cracks to make them again, give it that depth and then sort of brush it in with a little bit of um, a dry brush to, to clean it up a little bit. Now it's time to use all our little tools to scrape and sand the figures. Now you could go crazy with this because I was going crazy with this, like trying to make it perfect, perfect, perfect. Now the prints came out really just amazingly sharp on the Anycubic i3 Mega, but of course they still needed some work. And for that, I just used the sponge because it gets a sponge sort of, um, not sort of, but the sponge sandpapery thing and these little files to really get in to the cracks and crevices. And again, all the tools I used will be in the descriptions below. And at some point you just have to stop and say, it's not gonna look perfectly smooth and perfect like the thing you buy in a store, it's gonna look made, and that's good. Now I'm just looking at some references. It's not the color reference for the model itself, but I got that off of uh, Sideshow Toys. And I did decide to do some taping here and do spray paint because a lot of him is gold. So I can really get that nice shiny gold look with spray paint. So for the actual figure himself, I'm taping and then cutting away and a lot of taping, crazy amounts of taping and cutting <laughs> until we get everything covered up, that is the face. Now the helmet's a little weird because there's so many different little pieces, parts, but I'm never gonna be able to tape in there, so I'm just gonna have to hand paint that. And now we get the nice look of this. I love untaping things. The gold came out really, really well, uh, really happy with it, and the, uh, well, that's going real fast. I wish it happened this fast. And uh, yeah, 
So there we go. He's all done. And then I went ahead and taped the body and everything got them all set to go. Okay, now it is time to do some paint work on the hands. This is, you know, I, this purple, again, you know, Thanos in the comics sometimes is extremely purple. Sometimes he's not. In the movie, he's a little purplish, more maybe violet. Uh, I just sort of went with the color I liked. This is displaying a little bluer than it did uh, it does in real life. But, you know, that's life uh, on the screen. So it is a little purplier. Now, so the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, lay down a base coat. And like when I'm coloring comics, I like to go with a darker base coat and then build up the highlights. So... Again, all these pieces parts are just gonna get a base purple highlight so that I can see uh, where I need to then put the things. And I'm using a card here. And I saw this on a channel that I'm forgetting what it was. I wanna say it's like the Master's Apprentice or something. And here you can see now I am just going in with some highlight color. So it's a lighter purple and I'm highlighting the sort of the ridges of the fingers because that's where light would be hitting and uh, it's closer to like say, say the camera. So I was going to I'm going to get some highlights there. I'm going to get some highlights on the tops of the muscles to create a contour. And then it's just sort of the face was really fun. You know, again, the higher points, I'm adding a, a lighter color to get, you got to make sure you don't make it look like he has lipstick on. And this way here, we're just giving, you know, the rim of the nose, a little bit on the sides, and the little dimples on the sides of your nose, or your nostrils. I guess they're not dimples, they're nostrils. These help build up shape to the face and give it that three-dimensional look. And this was really fun. Uh, I got a little bit too crazy there, so I'm just wiping things off with my hand. And the nice thing about painting like this is it might not look like it's perfect to start but you need to just keep building up color building up color uh, uh starting with your highlights at least that's how i work and then moving into the shadows because later on you might have guessed in the video we'll be putting a darker purple down uh, a deep purple <laughs> and uh the uh color will uh, the highlights will pop even more and it'll give it even more depth so yeah this is a really fun part i enjoyed painting the face and uh yeah He's starting to look more and more 3D. Okay, so what I also did was I taped off another area to paint this blue with spray paint. It ended up not really working out because when I have to do the helmet later on, as you'll see, uh, the blues don't match, so I have to repaint it anyway. Now, again, this doesn't perfectly match the movie suit, but again, uh, you know, I read comics, and I've seen his, you know, armor slash costume done a million different ways so i'm just sort of having fun with this uh, a lot of it does match the movie and uh, it was just a fun uh, a fun little build to make so i'm just filling this stuff in with some black and then uh, it looks a little too shiny so i'll end up probably spraying this whole thing down with a uh, maybe like a satin um, clear coat to protect it and to sort of give it one overall sheen so there's not some weird color things going on Okay, and then here is the actual Infinity Glove. And again, I went with the old school leather. Um, I guess this could have been metal, uh, but at the same time, if you look at the file, or you look at the print, it has some seams on the side that look stitched. And if you look in some of the older uh, versions of the gauntlet, it does have, it is leather. Sometimes it's uh, grayish leather, sometimes brown, sometimes it's like iron with sort of iron straps holding the gems in. So again, having fun with it and uh, I dug the leather one the old school one when it first came out so I'm just using different browns to really give it that modeled sort of um, leather look and the funny thing is one of those brown paints is bad and it's all grainy and I decided to use it anyway because it's adding some texture <laughs> to the actual print itself and I'm trying not to hit the uh, gems just because uh, I want those still to be smooth but then I did and I went ahead and just painted over them anyway <laughs> because I slipped. And again, I'm just adding some highlights to the heavier or to the, the higher up areas before we go ahead and get ready to give it a shot of color in the gems. So here it is. It looks modeled. It looks sort of leathery. And now I'm using a very teeny tiny brush and doing the annoying work of painting these gems. Now, I almost decided to actually get put stick little LEDs in there and then I regained my sanity 
and I stopped doing that uh, because uh, that would have been would have been neat, but it would not have been fun. So uh, I wanted to have fun with this one, and it was just old school sort of painting and getting things all neat looking. All right, now it is assembly time, and uh, during assembly time, I'm also sort of doing some little tweaks to some of the pieces parts. Uh, I got some really cheap super glue, and that was a pain because it's very runny, but I'm spritzing it, and it seems to be uh, holding on nice. And then we pop the head on. Oh, he looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, I love that. And again, you can see the highlights in the chin and the shadow recesses. It really gives it that 3D look. Now it's leg time, leg day, and we put the legs on. Now a piece of him goes over, or the leg goes over into the base. And I had a heck of a time with this, just because uh, I was being impatient with the glue. And then of course, last but not least, put on the gauntlet. And you know, I've been uh, resisting saying, fits like a glove, but it fits <laughs> like a glove. And there he is, there is Thanos super happy with this again i've never done a figure before i actually uh plan on getting some more from the site uh it, the links below it's um i can't remember it off the top of my head now but maxi 3d print again but just look at the description below and really happy uh i enjoyed this i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video just because uh getting back to just going some old school sort of paint uh was really fun and uh he looks pretty cool great statue i can't wait to see the movie well, all right as you can see that one there was a lot of pieces parts to that getting this together painting it weathering it um once the video is over with i'll find a place for it and you know get it st stood up so he's sort of you know somewhere here on set uh in the workshop and uh, yeah this was really fun uh, i have had some people uh, i saw some people commenting on um, the company's website that they weren't a huge fan of the gauntlet. I could have painted that gold, but there's stitching in it and it reminded me of the old school comic one. And that's one I really used to dig. And especially with comics, you know, yes, this isn't movie, movie accurate. But, you know, in comics, they draw these characters different every single time. The glove looks different. He looks different. So uh, I just wanted to go ahead and make it my own. And I think, uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. I really, I really like it. So, again, if you're interested in this file, the link is below. Uh, he does some amazing files. I bought a few other files off of him or from his site. Again, this isn't a, you know, any kind of sponsorship or anything. Uh, just some neat files. And uh, I'll be printing some of those up in later videos. So you can check out that link below. If you're interested in any of the paint supplies I used for this, uh, again, you can head over to 3dprintedpropsgear.com or, again, just check in the description below. And as usual, I printed this all with ZL Tech uh, filament. It was the matte black. It's what I've been using. I just like simple black since I paint it. And there's a coupon code and a link below. And of course, I got my, my Thanos t-shirt on. This is from uh, Loot Crate. And it's pretty funny. I get a kick out of it. It's got some gold LeMay looking stuff on it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to think I'm going to do more of these figures. Uh, I've learned a lot from this and what I need to sort of tweak to make the prints better. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Reminds me of my old model making. <laughs> His foot just came off. And instead of using super glue to put these parts back on when they fall off, I'm actually going to use epoxy. So you should probably use epoxy too when you're putting it together. Or your foot will fall off. Now, I don't know if that happens in the movie, but I hopefully will get to see it next week and find out. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. And click on the little bell to uh, find out when the videos come out instantly. All right. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day. And if you want to make this awesome print yourself, you can just head down to the description where I've got a link to the site where I bought it. You can also go to 3D Printed Props Gear. that's in the description where you can find all the paints and different supplies I used. Don't forget there's a coupon code for ZL Tech. Uh, filament. There's also all the links and some coupon codes to Gear Beast for these printers. This I, uh, any cubic is just fantastic. And again, don't forget to check out my Patreon page and follow me on Twitter and all the other ones. All the ones. <laughs>